Hello everyone, my name is Shashanka Shekharwala and you are watching my channel Sync with me. Today we will discuss about directional overcurrent trailer. As I told in my previous video, in case of directional overcurrent relay, power direction and pickup current both are important. So in this relay, current and voltage both parameter sensing are necessary. There is a voltage coil connecting across the terminal number 7 and 8 and a current coil connecting across the terminal number 9 and 10. This is the directional overcurrent relay. This overcurrent relay is split it into the two part you can see this upper portion is for the directional unit and this lower portion is the overcurrent unit so here direction of the power flow should be satisfied okay for the particular direction of the power flow it will operate uh, that's why when the power, power flow direction is satisfied then only the directional unit operate after operating of the directional unit it will active this overcurrent unit is active and that condition if the current is more than pickup current then it will operate so for the operating of the directional overcurrent relay both conditions should be satisfied one is the power direction another is the pickup current here we are sensing the voltage and currents both that's why you can see the back side the these two are the current coil these two are the current coil and these two terminals terminal 7 and 8 are the voltage coil and terminal 1 2 and 3 4 are the auxiliary contact current and voltage apply to the relay through this watt meter to measure the input power and then it is connected with the relay now using this relay test set you can use the current as well as voltage this relay is connected with the b-phase this is the b-phase current and this is the b-phase voltage now turning on the voltage and the current both now first we apply the voltage as rated. Rated voltage of this relay is 110 volts. It is 110. Now increasing the current. So current is increasing. Now applied current of this relay is 9 ampere and applied voltage is 110 volt. See the relay condition. See but relay is not operating a pickup setting is 2.5 applied current is 9 ampere but it is not operating that means now it is in out of phase ok now if we change the phase angle using this knob and observe the disc so we are changing the phase angle and suddenly it will start to operate see here so now current is at zero drop line ok now current is at zero drop line now if we find out the phase angle ok using this current current voltage and this power and by calculating if we calculate the power angle and deduct from the 90 degree then we will get the maximum torque angle of this relay so this is the procedure to find out the maximum torque angle of the uh, directional rubber current relay i think it is clear to you thank you thank you very much for watching this video